good morning on this Sunday morning here in Central Florida. Well, more Southern Florida. Well, I'm more. I, I'm kind of like in the middle and kind of in between the middle and the South of Florida. So, um, it's a beautiful morning out this morning. I love my house. I love where I live. Very fortunate. Anyways, um, before I get into today's Bucks game, which is not going to be much considering there's not that much to talk about, although I'll probably make it a bunch of reasons to talk about it. How about the freaking Seminoles? That's right. How about Georgia? Georgia, even though they barely beat Tech, Barely beat Tech. Still pulled it off. Still got the win. Hopefully they're coming to the Outback Bowl. That would fucking make going to the Outback Bowl so much more fun. And so much more meaningful. Um, but, uh, Florida State, the Florida State University getting it done to become the best team in Florida for the last three years. And I'm telling you, if you're a Gators fan, that game was boring. And for the first half, that game was boring. There was a lot of punting the ball and a lot of, why the hell did he throw that? Or why the hell did they call that? Um, but it was, uh, it was a lot of fun watching the game with JT WWE. Shout out to him. Shout out to Gator Boog, Augusta Gator. Excuse me. Um, some good Gator fans here. I watch. Um, so yeah, I mean, I loved, loved beating Florida. If UGA had any kind of offense, I would be 2-0 against Florida for three years in a row, but, no. UGA's offense uh, is what it is, offensive. So, but, you know, it was a great win by Florida State. The last meaningful win we'll have before we play in the Drink Bud Light and Piss All Over Yourself dot com bowl. So, uh, the only bowl game I'm looking forward to this year, or the only game, the only games from here on out I'm looking forward to are watching. Florida kill themselves in the SEC title game and um, watching Georgia in the Outback Bowl. Hopefully that, that really does come true. And um, Florida State's bowl game. Those are the only three games I'm looking forward to for the rest of the college football season. Uh, so, JT WWE, I appreciate your crow. I appreciate the shout out. It was fun watching the game with you, at Buffalo Wild Wings, like it always is. Um, we always say before the game starts that our friendship is pushed aside for a couple of hours due to a football game. Uh, we said that against Georgia, for Florida, Georgia. We said that for Florida State and Florida, but really, it's not that it's not that big a deal. We actually have a lot of fun talking shit in the middle of the game. And I have a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun laughing at Florida's mistakes yesterday, as he had a lot of fun laughing at Georgia's mistakes when Georgia and Florida played. So it was a lot of fun. And for the song you have to sing, and you can dance to it too, because there's a dance to it. You have to do YMCA by the Village People. Heard that song on the radio this morning. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna make him sing that, because I was dancing along to it. So you can you don't have to dance, just sing. It. So, or yeah, yeah, just sing it. You don't have to dance to it, but if you were to dance to it, that'd be pretty freaking funny. So shout out to the good Gator fans here on YouTube again. I kind of felt bad for you guys. So, moving on, the Bucks play the Colts today. A game we should win, but I'll say this, I've said this three or four thousand times in three or four different videos, so I must have said it a thousand times in each video. The only reason the Bucks can lose today is the fact that we are who? 
the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We can only stop ourselves from losing this game. I don't see any threat whatsoever on the Indianapolis Colts other than T.Y. Hilton, other than the Frank Gore, other than Rashad Math Rashad, Rashad, something Mathis. That is the only threat I see on this Indianapolis. These are, these, those are the only threats I see on this Indianapolis football team. The Bucks are on a roll. Uh, Jameis Winston is on fire. Um, Doug Martin is on fire. The Bucks defense is on fire. So, um, those if we play the same way defensively we played for the last two games and offensively we played last week, we shall kick Indianapolis in the nads, chop off their nads, and eat them for post game dinner. So, the Bucks have a terrible record recently against the Colts. Um, the in the two thousand era they've only beaten them one time uh yep here in tampa on monday night football in 2011 we beat them 24 to 17 on my first monday night football game um in my lifetime um so we beat but that every the only buccaneers colts game everybody remembers is the monday night miracle uh, that took place here on an October night in 2003 when uh, there was a certain bullshit call by the name of Leaping on Simeon Rice that uh, gave Mike Vanderjeck the second chance and made it. And uh, yeah, the Bucks were winning 35-14 to with 5 minutes and 9 seconds to go and they did what they do best. They blew it! So, uh, we're playing another backup quarterback today. So, in a way that concerns me because... Like Hillsborough said, and like I've said for many years, we suck against backup quarterbacks. Uh, but these past two games, we played relatively well against backup quarterbacks. But here's, but like I said, and I will say it, continue to say it because it's it, 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 it's 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 a trend. We are the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and we blow games we should win. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. We shoot ourselves in the foot more than we help ourselves to win football games. And that is the only reason we lose this game today. So, um, Buck Nation, stand up. D King of the Bucks, Texas Buck, 2040 Kobe, Hillsboro, RTP, you know, RTP just doing mostly video game and, and like games now, but he's still a Buck fan, so I'll give him a shout out. Oh, and one Studio 91, shout out to him too. And my Bucks commenters, I see a couple Bucks commenters in my comment page, shout out to you guys, or in my comment section, shout out to you guys, so, like I said, um, no reason we should lose this game whatsoever, other than the fact that we are who, and that being said guys, I am out.